Many farmers sustained lower corn yields, yields this year because of the tar spot fungus and excuse me, and seed companies say it will return again next year. So WCIA 3's ag reporter Stu Ellis tells us more about these topics in this morning's report from the farm. John Skinner with Bex Hybrid says there are several things you can do to mitigate the impact of tar spot, but don't look for any resistant hybrids. Uh, right now we're not using the term resistance. We're using susceptible or tolerance. Uh, there's in the genetics we have right now, uh, with the maturities we deal with, there's no known um, resistance to it in the genetic lineup. So we're evaluating our products as they come to market. We're looking at the susceptibility of certain products and giving them rankings. So, so when our customers come to ask, come to us and ask what the best hybrid to combat tar spot is, we have multiple locations, multiple years worth of data to help them with that. So to fight it really, that, that uh, puts all the, the weight on the shoulders of, uh, of fungicides. Uh, currently, right now, fungicide is pulling a lot of the weight to combat tar spot, but there's other things we can look at. We can look at nutrient availability, we can look at overall plant health through the through supplying adequate nutrients, nitrogen, potassium, uh, phosphorus to those plants and making sure we have a health, healthy foundation to start with because adequate nutrients is going to increase your plant health and hopefully reduce the susceptibility of those products to tar spot. Okay. And um, uh, as, as far as application of fungicides, you hear about hitting it uh, at, at tassel time and a little bit after. Is that still what your recommendation is? For the most part, yes. My recommendation is to hit it at that VTR1 time frame. Over time, through our research uh, at our practical farm, practical farm research sites, we found that that provides us with the highest ROI as well as the lowest incident ratings for diseases. Now, with the injection of tar spot and southern rust coming in later, we're starting to do some studies to see how late that application can still be profitable. Some early results this year are showing all the way out to the R4 growth stage that we're still seeing positive yield and a positive return on investment by applying a fungicide when those diseases are present. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.